Hi, I am Suzy Yo. Today I'll be making one of my favorite dishes, lamb with hummus and pita chips. It's usually served as an appetizer. Uh, it is, I want to say, Middle Eastern, North African type of dish, whatever. Um, but uh, it's used with lamb, and not everybody's a fan of lamb like I am, so you can utilize beef or chicken. Cooking times will be a little different, but it's still all the same anyways. But I love lamb. I prefer it over beef, personally. I hate goat, but I love lamb. Let's get it. Anywho, so I will be sharing this lovely recipe with you guys. It's going to be my dinner tonight, so you know, make dinner with me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off. I like to mise en place my ingredients because it just makes it easier. Um, mise en place pretty much just your ingredients in place. So they're already ready, prepped, cut up, blah, blah, blah. You get the joke. So here I have some lamb. And this is a lamb leg, boneless. Actually, no, it's bone in, sorry. So I'll have to kind of cut around it. And then I have my garbanzo beans, garlic, which I can't live without. And then I saved the juices from the chickpeas. And then here we have tahini. And then some feta, another one of my absolute favorites. Um, and then you gotta have some olive oil, what up Whole Foods? Uh, and then, of course, you need your pita bread, which we're gonna turn into a kind of chips a little later on. And then we have cilantro, basil, and scallions, which I'll be utilizing as my onions because I don't have any onions, so this is when you chef it up and just kind of figure it out. And then I had mint, <laughs> but it dried out because I kept it in the fridge a little too long, but I'm still gonna use it and just honestly just mince it and chop it up and it's going to go in the lamb so it's not like you will see it but it needs the flavor of the mint i feel like mint and lamb and rosemary are just like the best marriage but uh and speaking of that obviously i need my spices because you know a sister can't live without her spices so i uh, one of my favorite bland <laughs> brands is burlap and barrel you can see right there we have sweet parika pepper sweet paprika whatever uh this is from turkey which i like that they show you where the spices come from and they'll even have like a cute little story on the back um but yeah so we have sweet pepper paprika we also have their carbonero chili which is from guatemala and then i love like they have so many different types of cinnamons but i went with this one from tanzania cinnamon virum and then um one of my other favorite spice shops is oak town spice shop and obviously you can see I love this one. Um, it's called the, I don't know if I'm saying this right, so sorry, but it is called the Urumki <laughs> Lamb Wrap. And I'm utilizing this because it pretty much has a lot of the spices that I need. Um, it has garlic, cumin, telly cherry, black pepper, cayenne, chili, kimchi chili, Szechuan pepper, and ginger. So I just feel like those are like the perfect flavors, but I also wanna add in the other chilies to it cinnamon and then this is like one of my new favorite um spices it has it's literally just a lapo uh chili and sumac blend so let's see it there it's from a brand called spice tribe but it's from syria um yeah a lepo chili and sumac blend and i'm missing one major thing uh where is it yeah here we go oh oh come on the lid came off Shit because I just be fucking things up. Sorry, I, I, I gotta clean this up because we just gonna bother me. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna get to my dummy. Kill my ass. Clean that tomorrow. I just can't write the lid popped off so that was the situation that um, I'm dealing with but anywho back to it Zatar this shit is like excuse my language between Zatar and Sumac my favorite and it goes really good with lamb but yeah so Zatar and um, so those are my spices and of course you gotta have some salt uh, so I think that's everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and start so I like to season my meat before I add it to the pan just so I can mix it much easier 
Um, I usually don't do measurements, but for you guys, I guess I will. Just so if you want to make this, but I'm going to do one teaspoon of pretty much everything. All right, here we go, folks. We got one teaspoon of za'atar. One teaspoon of oregano. And then this blend that we have here, the local chili and sumac. This is a new bottle, and of course, I dropped it. And there's only a little bit left. Fucking sushi. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna do two teaspoons of this. And because you can never have enough spices. Cinnamon, we're only going to do half a teaspoon. I love cinnamon with lamb, and it usually in the Middle East and North Africa, it's used a lot with lamb. It just brings out this nice, sweet little flavor to it. I don't know if that makes any sense. Sweet pepper paprika. We're going to do, I'll say half a teaspoon on that. All right, and then carbonaro chili, which take off the top, make it easier, and I like spice, so one teaspoon. And then my rumpy, <laughs> yeah, lamb rub. Sorry if I'm offending anyone with that, but I don't know how to say it, so and one teaspoon of this. And then nothing comes together if you don't have salt. And always season as you go with salt because sometimes like midway through the cooking you will realize you need a little bit more. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my dish started. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna put about two tablespoons. Now we'll do one fourth a cup. If that's one fourth a cup. <laughs> All right. And always season as you go with salt because sometimes like midway through the cooking you will realize you need a little bit more. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my dish started. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna put about two tablespoons. Now we'll do one fourth a cup. If that's one fourth the cup. <laughs> All right. Come on, baby, we gotta go. I am. I just realized <laughs> that I wasn't filming. This day for a year. So. While I was playing the dish, my bad. <laughs> so on the bottom you have the hummus, and you have the lamb, and then top it off some feta cheese. I had pickled red onions, the radishes, and then the pita bread, which I warmed up, um, and some top of cilantro, and a little sprinkle of za'atar. Closer and closer when we get to the airport, I guess the more and more I start 